cataractcoach.com. Register a case 110 analysis. Good job with the stop and shop technique. Now, in the USA, what we call residents in other parts of the world may be called registrars. Same concept. Young doctor in training, learning a subspecialty. So, looks like a sub tenons block was given. That's that subconscious we see there. And making a para and a keratome incision. And now here comes some tripan blue dye. Hey, if you're a resident, do you know I have such great free material for you? You know, there's a cataract coach PDF book, totally free. There's a curriculum series. It will teach you to be a better surgeon. I've got resident video. I got so much stuff. It's all free, but you just got to leave YouTube for a second and go to cataractcoach.com. Anyway, go back to our case here. Woo, catch a breath here. Here's our viscoelastic going inside the eye. Not sure you need tripan blue dye in these cases. Yes, it makes the caps a little bit less elastic. Perhaps that's easier, but you've got such a great red reflex here. I don't see the purpose of the tripan blue dye. So you may want to stop using that as a crutch. Now, let's see the Rex is here. Well, that's pretty good. It's a real, that's a really nice looking Rex. For case 110, my dear friend, you're doing a beautiful job here. That's a fantastic Rex. Incisions look pretty good too. Yeah, burping out a little viscoelastic. Here comes a specialized cannula. Get some hydro dissection. We lost some more viscoelastic. That's okay. There's the nucleus. Let's see. Does it spin? If it does not spin, you will not win. But you're spinning. You're going to win. I'm feeling it. Looks pretty good. Hey, draping's pretty good, too. So I don't have to act all crazy about the drapes. Now, here comes a phaco probe going in. Let's see. Get that in the eye. Don't worry about those bubbles. Let's see what we got here. Now, we know it's going to be a stop and chop, so let's see that groove down the middle. There's the groove. Notice how the lights of the microscope, those four lights, stay relatively centrally the whole time. That's good. By keeping the lights there, it means you're keeping the eye basically in primary. You want to move and pivot your hand and keep the eye in that primary position. So there you go. Now widening up the groove. This is done really well. Let's see, the, let's see the crack. Here comes the chopper going in. Get the instruments deep at the bottom of that crack and gently push apart. Good. Rotate it. Make sure you propagate that crack fully through. Oh, chop. Right to chop. Whoa, fantastic. This is for case 110. Listen, you are doing a great job. Great job. Get the eye a little bit back in primary, but seriously, this is fantastic. I like everything I've seen so far. So nice and easy. Beautifully done. I didn't quite get the chop. That's okay. You know, sometimes you can take out a couple of the quadrants. It'll give you a lot more room, easier to maneuver around the pieces. So some surgeons like to chop all the things in the bag first, then remove the pieces. Look at the AC bounce. Look at the pupil. See how the iris bounces back and forth, bounces back and forth? That's not good fluidics. You see that? That means you're for temporarily, as you clear the port, you're getting a post-occlusion surge. Look, watch the piece goes down, and as that goes down and the port's open or cleared out, boom, you'll see the iris bounce. So you're taking the chopper out of the eye because you have unstable fluidics. There's a better way instead of taking the chopper out of the eye. I like the chopper in the eye to help kind of protect the posterior capsule. But you had unstable fluidics. Go back and watch that again. You'll see what I'm saying. So what do you do? You want to get a balance out of inflow and outflow. The reason why they say take the chopper out of the eye is what? Tell me. Because you're leaking from the para. So there's only one source of inflow fluid. What's that? The BSS coming through your phaco handpiece. That's the only inflow. What's the outflow? Well, what you aspirate through the port, but also what leaks through the incisions. So if your main incision is leaking a lot, if your parenthesis is leaking, that will cause some instability. Well, how can you fix this? Well, increase the infusion pressure. Increase the amount of fluid going in the eye if you have fluid coming out of the eye. Does that make sense? Sure. So in this situation, I would not have taken the chopper out at the end there. I know that's what your professor told you, and that's okay. It's reasonable. It does help because of what we talked about. But... I'd look to get your settings a little more fine-tuned. There's a whole series. There's a 10-part series called FACO Fundamentals on the cataractcoach.com website. Yes, leave YouTube for a second. And on that site, I will teach you all the FACO settings, how to choose the settings, how to make up for this right here, what you're seeing now. Okay, enlarging the incision with the keratome. Are you doing it exactly? You're just kind of guessing. And now, let's see, putting the lens in. It should be a relatively routine case. I'm guessing the monofocal lens if you're a doctor in training. There we go. Nicely done. Here comes that monofocal lens. Deliver that inside the capsular bag. And put the whole thing in with just the injector. Look at the Rexus. was fantastic. This is a beautiful case. I am impressed. You're doing great. Fantastic job here. Keep up the good work. Just keep in mind, figure out your fluidic settings. That's what you need to figure out. You shouldn't have that chamber bounce. That AC instability, the bounce, bounce, bounce. Don't want that. Be look at that. That's a fantastic looking Rexus. Let's seal up the incisions here, nice and easy. And they also, one other, another hint is, you don't need all that tripan blue dye. What do you need it for? And then a little bit here. 
What about the roof of the incision? Come on. Wait for it. Do the cataract coach style. Oh, there it is. Good job. Remember, check out all the resin materials on cataractcoach.com.